10 most useless inventions ever made. Starting off with number one, a sleeping bag with legs. Egg with legs. Camping equipment is a market where a lot of money is spent. This is why would you need a sleeping bag with legs? Stars. You need a myriad of things in order to survive. Actually, I would prefer a sleeping bag with legs now that I think about it. Being restricted, you know, like for example, when you go to a hotel and they make the bed so it's like so tight you can't move your legs, I go <laughs> get my, my feet so they can like be free and move around. Okay, but would that would that solve that problem though? I mean I guess kinda because my each each leg could do whatever the heck they want. So I think it would be I think it would be better. I've in comfort. You need a tent in order to shelter yourself from extreme weather and animals. You may also need a small gas stove if you're going to want to eat something before you go to sleep. However, some outdoor wear designers went too far. Someone has designed a sleeping bag. That looks sick. Holes. That's right. Looks like a perfectly normal sleeping bag at the top. Looks like an astronaut strange suit. Strange protrusions where the legs are. It truly is a horrifying sight to behold. This is that looks useless, sick. What are you, what are you talking about? How hard about? is it to get out of a sleeping bag? I think I'll stick with unzipping the bag and getting out of it, rather than walking around in this monstrosity. Number nine. That's sick though. You can walk around. You won't get cold. Just like, if you get tired, just fall over and you go to bed. You're already in the sleeping bag. I was just thinking about this the other day, guys. Like camping in tents would be scary to me. I've gone camping locked because my, my parents have a camper though, and you could lock the door. With a tent, you cannot lock the door. There's also bears that could come and get you. I potty. Teaching your child huh? to use the toilet is a strange experience. It is one of the main landmarks that indicate that your child is growing up, but you have to deal with a whole lot of mess before you get to the point where Oof. they're ready to do their business on their own. But all that practice makes all the difference. Well, unfortunately, it looks like someone has decided that once your child does learn how to use the potty, they might be a bit bored on there. So they've designed a potty with a built-in tablet holder. What makes this useless is that it's a pairing of two things that should definitely be kept apart. Your very expensive gadgets and your young child's newly made toilet methods. Think of the mess. Hygiene didn't really come into the designer's head when this was thought up. Number 8. Butter Stick I don't know what to say, guys. Savior. I'm speechless. So many people's I mean, I'm gonna pause. If you're a parent and you buy that, that's no bueno. You know why it's no bueno? When I was a wee young lad growing up, I remember my parents would be like a strict rule. Don't bring anything in the bathroom. It's nasty. And if you think about it, it is nasty. Touching your phone or going to the bathroom is nasty. I swear everybody does it now. It's the staple breakfast of people around the world. You can't and this isn't even useless. Toast. This one right it's here. Made even better when it has a nice spread of melted butter on it. But you know how it is sometimes. You get up on the wrong side of your bed, try and butter your toast, and it doesn't spread quite right. Or you haven't toasted for long enough and a bit breaks off or something. It's a bit of a downer in the morning, right? Well, fear uneven spreading no longer. Not even. Because someone has come along and provided a thing that nobody really needs when you think about it. Presenting it's not even a, a downer. It's just more convenient if you have like this. Like imagine putting on lip gloss, but you have to like use a fork. You have a little bowl, you get something, you go, or you just go, it's the same with butter. Just whip out the butter stick from the fridge and thrup, you're done. This isn't useless. I'm gonna actually buy one right now. Butter stick. This is a replacement of something that really doesn't cause too much trouble. Does anyone really struggle to butter their Look at that one. So much so that they need a Two swipes and you got the whole thing done. We're talking about a stick that emits a cylinder of butter rather than glue. Just imagine, you wake up in the morning and rub this stick on your toes like you're gluing a piece of paper. Something about yeah, that. Yeah, see? That just makes even more sense. Like, a glue stick is a stick. It's not, like, a separate thing, like a box of glue, and you gotta, like, use a separate tool to apply the glue. It's just all in one. Car exhaust grill. Have you ever looked at your car, car exhaust, exhaust hmm. grill? I wish I could utilize that heat and energy coming out of the back of my car in a good way. No, I don't think many people have. But it's Same. I, I have not captured the essence of the word useless with their new invention, the car exhaust grill. What you do is stick it into your car's exhaust. It soaks up all the heat that is being created by the no, car. No, 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 no. Let me pause, let me pause. No, 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 no. That's so bad. All of the fumes coming out gets on your food. Did they not think about that? How is this a thing? That food, you take one, take one bite and it probably tastes like gas. Food. Apparently, you don't have to worry about all those poisonous fumes from your yeah. car because the way the grill is designed. Wait, what? Even so, the thought of carbon monoxide that makes no sense. burgers just doesn't sound great. Number Same. five. Pet rock. This next use of what a pet is actually rock? pretty genius. It made its inventor Gary genius. Dalton. The other ones were genius. Now you're calling this one genius? A rock? Okay, let's see. Quite let's a see. lot of money when he invented it or conceived it back in the 70s. The pet rock is just what it says. They were originally rocks from Mexico's Rosarito Beach, but the ingenious element came from the fact that they were marketed just like regular pets. They came in a cute little carrier with- What, do you have to mold. feed it too? Of course this fad was somewhat short-lived as the sales dropped the Christmas after they released. But Gary probably didn't mind. He sold them for $4 each and actually became a millionaire off of the back of them. You've got to give Gary some credit for this one. I don't need to tell you why this one is useless. It's exactly that. 
but that's what made it so popular. Out of all the useless inventions in this video, this one probably made the most money. Now I wonder if I could start selling- What? I thought he was gonna say this is the most useless and I was like, yeah, I agree. Cause like the butter stick wasn't even useless. The sleeping bag with legs wasn't even useless. Porta potty one, I mean, it wasn't useless. Or porta potty, you know what I mean? But this one's actually useless. It's literally a rock. You can literally go outside and grab one off the ground and you got a pet rock. But I guess it's the idea of like, what I got you for Christmas, a pet. There's breathing holes for the rock. Da -da -da -do. Number four. Cat wig. Cats are often solitary creatures. Okay, now they play by their own rules, run on their own clock. Mm. Their owners sometimes let, let's see. see let's see some more pictures. Only for the cat to come slinking back home. My point being that they're very proud animals. They like to have their own space a lot of the time. Well, this next invention will annoy this cat trait and help you embarrass your pet without it really even knowing. Cat wigs come in a variation of styles from rainbow colored hair to afros to long, luxurious locks. If you've ever even seen a cat, you know that they will hate this. Or do you have a dog and feel like you're missing Yeah, 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 no. I made like collars for my cat and like, what else did I put on my cat? I feel like there's something else I put on my cat. But yeah, like I, I remember one time my grandma and I, we, we knitted up some collars for my cats and you put it on the cat and it doesn't know what to do. It just stands still and like, backs up funny and doesn't just doesn't know what to do. I can't imagine what the wig would do. But you know, my mom's watching this video right now. Well, not right now. I don't know when she's watching it. But she's gonna watch this video and be like, we should get one of these for Rory, which is one of my cats. We got three cats. Well, I don't have any cats. Should I get a cat, guys? Out on the fun? Well, don't worry about that. You can indulge in dog masks. Like this duck face dog mask, for instance. Or this scary werewolf nice. muzzle. As funny and cute as these may be, is anyone else getting a slight feeling of animal cruelty? Or is that just me? Number three. Remote Wrangler. Anybody else huh? fed up of losing the remote? Yeah, it's the bane of many people's existence. Try down the sofa is my best suggestion. It always falls down there. But evidently, someone That's lost true. their remote one too many times and had a brainwave half fueled by frustration. The remote wrangler is a Velcro creation that you wear on your head. What you do is you what? stick Velcro pieces to your remote controls and then you stick them to your head. That's it. The only thing I'm thinking is, wouldn't that make it hard to watch TV or to? <laughs> that would just be annoying. Exactly. Okay, that's gotta be a fake picture. She's not actually wearing this. Yeah. <laughs> That's totally fake. Why on your head? And why why do you need this thing on your, your what do you call it? It's a chin. Why not just have the headband? I feel like that would be a bit more comfy. But at the same time, it's not, because if you move your head, remotes are on there. Like it's gonna like be annoying. Why not instead of put this on your head, why not make this exact thing like right beside your chair? Like what's gonna make me wanna go, hey, look at this. I'm just gonna slap this on my head over just like putting it on the chair. You know what I mean? Or to relax at all? The design on this thing is pretty darn flawed, if you ask me. Well, I agree. it's not as bad as the head mounted toilet paper dispenser. Oh. What? Nothing to get you more friends than having toilet paper mounted on your head. Number two. That's kind of handy though. Wait, what's this next one? Who pills? What? You're gonna, you're gonna make your crap gold? Anyway, back to the last one. The paper towel one. It's kind of handy, but it's still, it's not useless because then you got toilet paper. Like some people are picky. Not gonna expose anyone. I know someone's watching this. He'll, he'll know who he is. But always brings toilet paper with him, like the good stuff, guys. Not that that thin stuff that you find at the school, the good stuff. And so that solves that. You always got it on you. Like, who the heck is going to walk around with toilet paper on their head? Okay, let's see what the heck this is. I know what you're thinking. I've put all these items in my basket, Mr. Be Amazed Narrator. They all sound wonderful. But what I'm Okay, really no, the one that I would actually get, though, is the butter stick. for is something to spruce up my bathroom experience when nature calls. Well, wonder no more, thoughtful viewer. For a mere 370 pounds from aptly named this is why I'm broke.com. You can purchase a set of gold pills. What do these do? Well, let's say they make your excretion shine. They make your time on the toilet a little more classy. Basically, they make your poo turn gold. I know, I know. Which genius thought this up? So just because there are so many silly, silly inventors in the world, I thought I'd give a few honorable mentions to the inventions that didn't make the cut. The privacy scar. That was it? That was number one? No, there's more. Um, but you know what, guys? I was about to say, like, that would be kind of cool to try. But like, what the heck's in the pill? Turns your crap to gold. But like, what's in there to do that? Kind of suspicious. This one's kind of genius too. But again, the reason you want to get this is so people don't like watch, you know? Like maybe you're watching like insane body transformation video or something and you don't want other people to see that you're watching that. Totally did not happen to me on the plane. I was just watching my boy Brownie doing a transformation video. Do you, know, do you guys know the YouTuber Brownie? He's like a fitness YouTuber. I actually met him at VidCon and on the flight home from VidCon, I was watching that video. But I had like been subscribed to him for like a few years before I met him. But anyway, this would solve that. Nobody would be able to see, except this is kind of like defeats the whole purpose because then everybody would be looking at you if you're wearing this. And why the heck do you need like little mitts on your hands? So they can't see what you're searching up. Like, what are they searching up on there? because it's a scarf that hides your computer screen by cutting off your vision completely. How did you live without it? Oh, and while you're doing your studying with your privacy scarf on, why not treat yourself to some diet water? 
That's right, they've taken something that doesn't even have any calories and made a diet version. Next up, the two-person sweater. For all of you who may want to know what it feels like to have a Siamese twin. Then there's toilet golf, which was just about edged out of the running. One of my friends, I remember his dad, I think, bought this for him for his birthday. This was like a few years ago, though. Like a long time ago, maybe like five, I don't know. Out of the running. What else do you think of when nature calls but getting a quick nine holes in? And to carry on the obsession some people have with that part of the anatomy, we have rectum chocolates. Chocolate huh? shaped like your back door, finally. And if that isn't enough, feel free to get your pet a butt cover too. Number one, proposed food helmet. Have you ever thought what it would be like to be a flower? To gather your nutrients from the sunlight rather than eating that burger? What is this one? I was lost on the last one. Ichiko Nita have an idea. A helmet? Questionable. At a the flower very helmet? Least. Is that what they said? Designed to suit fit the heck is that? To let humans absorb nutrients in a photosynthesis-like way. They maintain that they predict a future where a suit like this will be worn by everyone and that gradually the human race will adapt and evolve new ways of getting the nutrients they need. The tubes you see protruding from the mouth are connected to tanks full of algae that help the human to be looks like an alien on Thank when you're wearing it. Michiko, but I think I'm good. Not being a flower, you know? Which contraption- Wait, what's- why can't she just eat it? I mean, I guess, smell it? Wait, what? How do you smell it? How, wait, what? what's even the point? You smell nutrients? Smell protein? Is that even possible? I don't even know, guys. But that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to slap that like button, subscribe if you're not already, turn on post notifications so you don't miss another episode, and let me know if any of these you would actually buy. Peace.